This building was built by the poor for the poor, and it continues in that capacity, serving women that are homeless but without children, and we call it today El Paso Via Maria. The reason that we saw that was our call for mission was all the shelters, they do accept single women, but if they have children, they have priority. And so if they need a space, they don't hesitate to remove a single woman in order to accept a woman with child. Well here, this is our only population that we minister to. The women come here in crisis, they're from, you know, domestic violence, so straight out of prison. Um, and they have to start over, uh, or start from the beginning. We love them dearly, treasure them, and help them recognize how beautiful they are, and how they are as gifted as any of us are. Maintenance is a constant issue. Uh, we have a small budget. We actually do a lot on a very small budget. So, you know, it costs about a thousand, eleven hundred dollars per resident a year to take care of, you know, to take care of them. Um, and with that, they get, you know, um, they get their own room, they get their own bathroom. They live in a communal environment with other women. The foundation hopefully will secure the future of Via Maria fiscally help us become more sound for the future. But you know, it's the House of Mary. It's a uh, House of the Virgin. And she uh, embraces us here. Mm -hmm.